Hello. Welcome to this service of spiritual communion uh, for the 17th of May, the sixth Sunday of Easter. Now, the three days following uh, this particular Sunday are designated as rogation days. So they're days when we celebrate everything that God has given us in the fields around us and we lift to God the success of the planting and the seeding that has gone on and we hope and pray for a good harvest later in the year. I hope you have some sort of um, service sheet with you. Um, if not, it's all on um, the screen and you can just follow it and there will be a hymn as well which you can sing in the privacy of your home. Let's start. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we're going to sing our hymn, which starts very abruptly.
So let us pray the collect for today. The collect for rogation. God our Father, you never cease the work you have begun and prosper with your blessing all human labour. Make us wise and faithful stewards of your gifts, that we may serve the common good, maintain the fabric of our world and seek that justice where all may share the good things you pour upon us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And just a verse from Psalm 104, which is a creation psalm and well worth digging your Bibles out and reading the whole thing. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. And then our gospel reading today, Luke chapter 11, verses 1 to 13. He was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us. And do not bring us to the time of trial. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, will give a snake instead of a fish? Or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So in days gone by, Rogation Sunday was a really big event, a really big deal. The priest and the local people would walk around the boundaries of the parish, or at least part of the boundaries of the parish, some of them are very big, to thank God for all the good things that he gives us, to thank God for creation, and to ask God to bless the growing season so that there may be a good harvest later in the year. And I think it's a great tradition and worth keeping in some form or, or another. This year, we obviously can't congregate, but we can do so spiritually, as we're doing now. There we go. Excuse me, I've completely lost my place. We can meet together spiritually, as we're doing now. And we can ask for God's blessing on the crops and the animals, which we need to sustain us. We can also ask God to bless our wonderful farmers as well. We are blessed by God every time something good happens to us or for us. God is good. And all goodness which we experience, therefore, comes from God. And this is what the reading from Luke, which we just heard, talks about. Firstly, it talks about our relationship with God. Now, many of us are parents, and my daughter will often say to me that I'm her best friend. We talk a lot, and we share a lot. There aren't many secrets between us at all. But although I love the idea of being so close to her, there's something in me which says that it's fine being a friend, but the relationship with a parent is unique. We all need parents. We all at some point need to rely on our parents for the things that we need. And we need to rely on our parents to have the wisdom to give us what we need and first to discern what would be good for us. And so it is between us and God. God knows what is good for us. We may ask for a supercar, but it's not what we need. 
we may ask for an expensive outfit, but God provides food for us instead, or a beautiful day, or a smile from a new friend. And if we want proof of what God gives us, we only have to look outside. Even in the most built-up areas, there are birds, perhaps only pigeons, but even they can raise a smile to our faces. Even they remind us of how we are part of God's creation, living side by side. And when we can see trees and grass and flowers and other animals and crops and gardens and growing fruit and vegetables and rivers and streams and rain and everything God has created, then we really know that we're part of something amazing, provided by an amazing God. So if we ask for a good growing season, for all we know about God, I can't imagine that he wouldn't give it. So on this Rogation Sunday, let's do just that. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for all your creation. Lord, we ask that you bless the crops sown and planted in the fields around us. Bless them so that they can provide sustenance for people. Bless the farmers who grow the crops and tend to the animals. And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. So now let us pray. We pray for the world. We pray for our communities. And we pray for those we know and love, our families and our friends and our neighbours. Lord, we ask for direction, especially to those in charge of our futures at the moment. We give thanks for those people putting their lives on the line to save our lives. And so we thank you for the doctors and the nurses and the police and all the other professional people who come into close contact with us, not forgetting the people who clean, the people who provide food for us in supermarkets or in fields. We thank you for our communities who have shown so much love to others. where your work is so obviously at work. And lastly, we pray for those that we know who need your healing hand, who need your help, because they're poorly in mind, body or spirit. Be with them, Lord. May they know your peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. And let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. We say this together. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given us, for all the pains and insults you have borne for us. Since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, I am with you always. Be with us today as we offer ourselves to you. Hear our prayers 
and keep us all in your care. Amen. And the blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. 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 Well, thank you for sharing this with me today. Um, hopefully you'll have had this from an email and on that email will be news of other stuff that we're doing. Um, so do um, avail yourself of that if you wish. And again, any prayer requests or even if you want to chat, please just get in touch. Have a good day. God bless.